Well, of course, as I've been covering on my channel, the Swedish election, a very, very dramatic result that saw in the end the right-wing coalition of parties, including, of course, the Sweden Democrats, emerge with 176 seats together. And the left-wing uh, ruling coalition that was supporting Magdalena Andersson, the current prime minister, uh, they got 173 seats, so the right-wing coalition narrowly won. Of course, the Sweden Democrats emerging as the second largest party overall and the largest party on the right of that right-wing coalition. Well, what does that mean? We're now seeing already uh, Sweden to slash migration as the right takes control, the Sweden Democrats demanding measures to deport foreign criminals, strip gang members of citizenship and freeze the asylum system as the price of supporting a Conservative-led government. You've got Jimmy Akerson there, the Sweden Democrats leader, saying it's time to start rebuilding security, welfare and social cohesion. It's time to put Sweden first. Now, it's worth noting that Ulf Christensen, the leader of the uh, Moderate Party, another party uh, on the right there, he's now likely to become the new uh, Swedish PM, I think. And you see what he's been talking about uh, during the course of the election campaign as well. Quoted there as saying, I think almost everyone in Sweden now agrees that we've had too much immigration for a long time and integration has been too poor. Now, one of those congratulating the Sweden Democrats on this dramatic election result was former Conservative MEP David Campbell Bannerman congratulating the Sweden Democrats MEP Charlie Weimers there, saying, Charlie, many congratulations to all of you at Sweden Democrats for making it into government. Brilliant achievement, knew you would. And he replied there saying, thank you, David. Proud that so many voters put their confidence into us, making the Sweden Democrats the leading Conservative Party for the first time in history. Now it is time to deliver. Now, he went on to say that the Sweden Democrats will be a watchdog for change. And he spoke to Nigel Farage on GB News. Uh, here's the clip. Let me know what you think. So, we're about to get a new centre-right coalition in Sweden. The numbers are very, very clear. Uh, what role will your party leader, Jimmy Ackerson, play in this new government? We will be a change watchdog. We will make sure that uh, action is actually taken to control migration, an area where the previous government failed utterly. Uh, that we actually uh, are starting to implement reforms to fight crime. You were mentioning gun crime. We have, we have shootings every night in Sweden. We have uh, 500 bombings uh, during the last four years of social democratic rule of this country. We'll also make sure that uh, Sweden uh, starts the process to build new nuclear reactors because we have an energy crisis in Sweden and that's also a reason why this government fell because it, it, it closed down four reactors uh, during its uh, reign.